Welcome to History Adventuring. This is episode number 336. I'm Brad Hall, and today we're old timers sitting on a corner in Phoenix, Arizona in 1911. If I'm learning anything about Phoenix history, it's that it's best seen through the eyes of people who are watching it. I really don't care for history books. I like looking through magazines and newspapers of the era. And yet, I know that those printed words can't possibly tell me what the average person on the street was thinking. And I would be especially interested in the words of people about the age I am now, which, although I still consider myself middle-aged, because I plan on living to 120 at least, they were the real voices of reason. So if you don't mind, let's be a couple of Phoenix old-timers sitting on a corner just talking about things in 1911. Well, howdy-do. It's another beautiful day in Phoenix. Just breathe that fresh air. Now let's move away from those horses and set a spell. Well, I don't know what this town is coming to. Those horseless carriages are everywhere. Kicking up dust, making a racket, scaring the horses. They ought to pass a law against them. They're going to ruin Phoenix. Say, there's a nice one going by. I wouldn't mind owning something like that. I believe that's a Pope Toledo. Understand that they never backfire. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I always jump like that when I hear gunfire. I figured that maybe it was Garfias gunning for me. Now, who are you calling an old fool? Yeah, I guess he did die in 96. Well, could have been Noah Broadway. I can't keep all of them sheriff straight. What? He's been gone since 86. No one tells me anything. I hear that Sheriff Carl Hayden is a pretty good shot, too. You'd better watch yourself. What do I think of the Roosevelt Dam? Bunch of darn foolishness, if you ask me. Bureau of Reclamation? You mean Bureau of Reclamation? Those dams will break and we'll all be drowned, just like in Johnstown. You mark my word. Hand me that bottle. I'm feeling mighty parched. I hear that they plan on paving the streets. What a mess that'll be. I suppose once they start tearing up the roads, there'll be no end of it. It'll just make it hotter here, like those darn fool brick buildings. Back when buildings were adobe, it kept the whole town cooler. And that concrete Adams Hotel is even worse. Never should have built it. It'll probably burn down just like the old one did. Mark my word. What? Oh, all right, I guess. We've been sitting here for a couple of hours. Might as well go home and get some work done. I'll see you tomorrow. Uh, here's your empty bottle back. This has been History Adventure. I'll talk to you later.